never slow up No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I gotta vendetta against people who patent it Being negative when you should be getting after it Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel It's Abby Crystal here with a beautiful fresh looking face as usual And on today's video is gonna be my analysis of Miss Supernational Nigeria's performance in the just concluded preliminary competition guys like seriously i took out a lot of time to analyze her performance and also pick on my um crown alerts for the finals okay guys we just have about two days to the supernational finals and it's getting hot in poland it's getting really 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 hot in poland guys like seriously so if this video if this kind of video you want to watch or if you're interested in watching this video stay tuned don't touch that dial keep on watching So on today's video, I'm going to be analyzing Miss Supernational Nigeria's performance in the just concluded preliminary competition. Guys, like seriously, it was fun. It was lit. I really enjoyed the competition and I don't know how the judges are, you know, I don't know how they're going to pick their top 24 because all the ladies came out in exquisite attires. Both the, the swimsuit and the evening wear competition was exquisite. Guys, like seriously, it was very, very exquisite. Like, I'm not praying. In fact, I don't want to be a judge at this moment. At this, at this moment, eh, I don't, I don't want to be in the shoes of those judges because I don't, I don't know how they're going to compile the top 24. Like, I don't want to be in their shoes because it's, it's a tough task, really, guys. It's a really, really tough task to pick the top 24. And so far, so good. Um, it's 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 really really hot in Poland. Like seriously, guys, it's really really hot in Poland. Like, um, I just want to you know this video is going to be my analysis on Miss Supernational Nigeria's performance, Sektra Omosede Okundaye. Yes, she has been so 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 um phenomenal ever since she landed in Poland, and we are drawing closer to the end of this supernational experience. Like seriously, I I I'm really 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 in awe of you know how she was able to carry herself throughout this competition i must really give it to her and her stylist and her entire team they really did a great job on her and um i, I can say this for sure like this is our best uh, representative so far in supernational guys like she is our best representative so far and i must say that she has really done nigeria proud I um, must say that sexual, irrespective of what happens on Saturday, you have the nation proud. We are so proud of you and we can't wait for you to, you know, mount the stage on the finals day and represent our dear country, Nigeria. All right. So, guys, um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about sexual performance. I'm going to show you guys videos of her performance and how well she, you know, was able to put her head up high amongst all the beautiful ladies you know from different continents from americas caribbeans europe asia and indeed and of course africa all right so guys you know i told you guys that the african representatives um this year we just have about six of them and it's so sad that we just have only six you know countries representing africa you know up you know um the 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 previous competitions we already, we had up to more than 10 uh, countries representing africa but this time around we just have six and out of the six you just you don't have a lot to choose from but i know that i'm going to um pick up my top contenders from the african region and in a subsequent video i'll talk about my crown alert okay so this is just based on you know, Miss, you know, Miss Supernational Nigeria's performance in the just concluded preliminary competition, okay? So guys, I'm going to be basing this particular analysis on the swimsuit, evening wear, and also um, national costume, and a super chat, okay? Um, at, at the time I'm filming this video, um, as at the time I'm, I'm filming this particular video, I don't think we have the results for uh, the supra finals okay i think it will be announced on the finals night that is on saturday okay so on saturday we're going to know the winner for the super chat and hopefully i believe that our dear sectra is going to be 
you know the winner okay that is my belief and that's my hope because i've voted if you've not voted as a time i'm filming this video guys please go and vote i don't know if the voting is still on on the super app but i said it in my previous video that you guys should go and support our queen by voting vote vote for her vote for her and make sure that you know you support her as well all right so um Based on her performance in the prelims, I'm going to be talking about her swimsuit performance. I'll put in videos here for you guys to see. Um, her, swimsuit, her swimsuit wear was um, perfect. Her performance was very, very perfect. She executed it very well. Like she, she just made all the necessary poses, necessary um, turns. She made the necessary turns and all that. I love the fact that she pulled down her hair. Yes, she pulled down her hair, and the hair was just bouncing throughout the, you know, presentation. I loved the uh, swimwear, the swim, a swimsuit presentation. But I'm not particularly um, loving the swimwear. I don't know the company or whoever supplied the. The organizers this particular this year's swimwear i'm i'm not really feeling it i don't know i don't really like the way i, I was thinking that it would come out in a two-piece wear but it came out in a one um in a swimsuit like in a one-piece swimsuit wear not two-piece wear all right so i don't know and basically they were not allowed to remove their the sashes on the waist that would have you know given them a lot more tones you know in the swimsuit competition but all the same she executed very well in the swimsuit competition and she has been on the list of a lot of pageant bloggers you know as the best in swimsuit okay so guys i really love that performance in swimsuit next off is the evening wear like guys i you seen the evening wear as soon as she came out in that evening wear i was wild i was wild and this is what i've been saying here on my channel that you know we need to give them quality quality designers gowns and this is exactly what she did guys like she 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 performed like she she heeded to you know what i've been saying about us presenting quality gowns for this competition and she heeded to the advice i love this gown on her i love the color on her i love the design i love the fact that it was a full-on crystal um orange gown with brownish you know embellishment the crystals on the gown was so beautiful i love the execution of this gown i really love the gown on her like this is something you know when, when, when you look at the gown you, you see that the gown is luxurious like it smells of luxury guys it smells of luxury i really love this that gown on her and hopefully i know that i don't know if she's gonna wear the same gown for the finals but this gown is is wow like it's it's, it's i give her 100 percent in this evening wear like i really loved it it was so well executed the next on our analysis is the national costume guys like national costume was very 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 queenly guys like if you are in nigeria you know that you know um sectra is from edo state they are rich cultural heritage okay yes the ancient benin kingdom is known for its rich heritage and she depicted you know that in a national costume you know she depicted the queen yeah so she, she depicted queen or mercedes idea of the great benin kingdom guys like she, she was a great warrior during her time if you looked if you watch or oh, sorry if you've read the history of queen um or mercedes idea she was a great soldier during her time she was a great queen she was a, a a female warrior during her time she was able to save her son during the war and all that so she depicted the strength of the ancient benin women okay even in present benin kingdom the women are very very strong yes so she depicted you know the the the, the rich cultural cultural heritage of the benin kingdom and also you know the depicting queen idia and you know her her exceptional qualities as a great warrior of the asian Benin kingdom that was what she depicted in this national costume guys like she looks so beautiful she looks so regal in this national costume and i really really appreciate her designers i don't know like you know if every nigerian representative should be using the designer that sector is using i don't know the designer that she's using but they really really did a great job on her and i really really loved national costume it was so beautiful i love the fact that you know she came in with this mask this golden mask and when she came on stage and she opened the mask that was the high point of the presentation guys i really love that presentation guys you're going to see videos here i'm going to show you guys all that happened in this national costume presentation like i really loved it and i give her 10 over 10 in this presentation guys she really really on the she really really performed 
hundred percent in the national costume and i hope that she's gonna win the best national costume guys like i'm rooting for her okay so in my analysis like i would say that sectra performed beyond my expectations yes beyond my expectations because you know that over here i tell you guys that um you know she has been one of the best yeah in fact she has been the best representative to me supernational so far and i see her i see her giving us the second placement okay yes i see her giving us the second placement because um, like I told you guys, the, the placement Nigeria placed in 2018, and that is that is a long time ago, and we really, really deserve to place this time around. And Manila, I believe that Sectra will do us proud this time around. Like seriously, I'm tipping her to break into the top five. Like seriously, at this point of the competition, at this point, with all that she has displayed so far in Poland, and tipping Sectra to get to the top five. Because in terms of intelligence in terms of eloquence in terms of presentation yes she has the presentation skills she has the uh, uh, q and a skills like she has been delivering yes yeah, so far in poland even before she got to poland she has been delivering so far in the super chat competition and hopefully i believe that sectra has all it takes to break into the top five in this year's finals okay so i wish her all the best of luck yes yeah, Sectra, if you're watching this video I wish you the best of luck and I know that you're going to make Nigeria proud. Yeah, in fact, you've already made us proud. But on the finals night, I know you're going to do more. You're going to make us more proud. And I wish you all the best in the finals. I can't wait for you to mount that stage on Saturday. And I will be praying for you and will be rooting for you. And I believe that you're going to make us proud on that stage. Okay? So, guys, we've come to the end of this particular analysis. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to do I'm going to be filming another video where I'll talk about my crown alerts and my top contenders from the African region and crown alerts from the other regions from Europe, Americas, Caribbean, and Asia, and of course our dear Africa. I'm going to show you, tell you guys who I think are the strong contenders from each of the continents and my overall crown alerts. So guys, anticipate that video coming shortly after this particular video, alright? So guys, please, like I said earlier, like, share and subscribe to my channel for more pertinent content. And I'll see you guys in my next video coming up very, very soon. Bye.